So just talking about our rain chances, you can see how they drop off here throughout the evening and overnight tonight. I think we'll actually be in for a quiet night and early tomorrow morning. Still not looking bad, but those rain chances will go back up a little bit as we go into the afternoon and evening tomorrow. And then we're going to do the same thing on Tuesday too, likely dry in the morning, but then a little bit better of a chance to see some rain as we head into the afternoon and evening. Future tracks going to show us how this plays out. Again, the rain's still sticking around, especially east of Highway 51 here throughout the evening. It does taper off though once we get closer to midnight and then look at that. Maybe a little bit of sunshine as we're waking up tomorrow morning, but it's not going to last all day. We'll see the clouds build back in as we go into the afternoon by about two, three o'clock. These showers and storms start to pop up once again. We'll do it all over again going into it Tuesday as well. Again, we'll be quieter during the morning hours, but then some showers and a few thunderstorms popping up during the afternoon. Much more scattered than what we're seeing today, but we're still going to have that possibility out there. And again, not anticipating any severe weather with any of this over the next couple of days. But Tonight, we are dropping down to around 50 degrees, rain coming to an end, but still mostly cloudy skies and still a little bit of a breeze too out of the north between 10 and 15 miles per hour. Looking at a high of 69 tomorrow, so we will warm up a little bit tomorrow thanks to some of that morning sunshine. Tuesday, we will be cooler again. After the holiday weekend, we're looking at a high of 63 degrees. We're back up to 68 on Wednesday. We get that sunshine back and we're looking pretty good Wednesday and Thursday.